We're following big breaking news this morning. The Vatican just announced the passing of Pope Benedict the 16th. The news comes just days after Pope Francis announced his health was worsening. Catholics around the world are mourning his loss. CBS 2's Dick Brennan takes a look back at his legacy. Abemus Papam. German Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger greeted the faithful with a warm smile and a friendly demeanor when he became the 265th Pope in 2005. It's something many had not expected from the conservative hardliner who had spent 20 years as the feared chief enforcer of Vatican conservatism. Papa Giovanni Paolo. Ratzinger's softer side was first seen during his touching homily at Pope John Paul II's funeral mass. He established himself as the papal frontrunner, and once the conclave began, it it didn't take long for the princes of the church to elect Ratzinger. He chose the name Benedict XVI and began the difficult task of replacing one of the most popular leaders the Catholic Church has ever known. He also took on the difficult task of cleaning up the church sex scandal after taking a lead role in the investigation into pedophile priests in 2001. Pope Benedict went on to make a public apology for the sexual abuse of children at the hands of Catholic clergy. He said there had been serious mistakes among bishops in responding to allegations. The Pope also apologized for offending Muslims during a trip to his native Germany. Benedict sparked massive protests from the Muslim world when he quoted a medieval passage that portrayed Islam as a violent religion. He said the words did not reflect his own views, but not before several Christian churches were burned in protest. Ratzinger's early life was not without controversy. During World War II, he said he was forced to join the Hitler Youth and serve in an anti-aircraft battery. But some historians say he might have been able to avoid such service. He deserted the German army toward the end of the war, and he was briefly in a POW camp. After the war, Ratzinger and his brother were ordained to the priesthood on the same day in 1951. Joseph rose through the church's hierarchy, and Pope Paul VI elevated him to cardinal in 1977. Cardinal Ratzinger moved on to Rome to become a top Vatican official under Pope John Paul II. As head of the Vatican's Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith, his uncompromising reputation earned him the nickname God's Rottweiler. When he became pope, Benedict did what was expected of him and pursued the strict conservative ideology of John Paul II. In 2013, Pope Benedict shocked the world by making the almost unprecedented decision to resign from his position, citing advanced age. Benedict's announcement marked the first time a pope had stepped down in nearly 600 years. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. And this morning, New York's Timothy Cardinal Dolan released a statement on the passing of Pope Benedict. It says in part, quote, the human family grieves the passing of this erudite, wise and holy man who spoke with truth, who spoke the truth with love. May the angels lead him into paradise. Cardinal Dolan will also offer prayers for the Pope Emeritus at St. Patrick's Cathedral this morning at 10 o'clock. Stay with CBS 2 and our streaming service, CBS News New York, for continuing coverage on the death of Pope Benedict the 16th.